Hey everybody, welcome back to Breezy Organization's channel. I am so excited that you clicked on this video because that means if you know anything about digital planning, it's just a little bit. And chances are you may not know anything about digital planning. And let me just tell you, your life is about to be changed and your mind is about to be blown because I could not believe this when I found this. I was a huge paper planner. I absolutely loved paper planning. But my problem with paper planning is... Um, I would forget it, I would make a mistake, I had to rip it out, I couldn't erase it, just all the things, right? And th I had to have so many planners because there wasn't one perfect planner that just did everything that I needed it to do. So I am super excited to introduce to you digital planning. What is it? What do you need? How does it work? And all of the things. So let's get started. <laughs> devices besides an iPad. I do recommend an iPad and an Apple Pencil. That is going to be your best result, the most ease of use, uh, the most compatible, definitely just the easiest way to go. However, if you do have a Surface Pro, um, there is an app that starts with an M that I cannot remember what it's called. And on other devices, like maybe Android devices, there's an app called XODO that I think a lot of people use. Basically, you need an app that will work on your device that allows you to write on PDF documents because all digital planners are PDF documents. So you're gonna import them as PDF documents and you need to be able to write on them and you need to be able to use hyperlinks. Now, basically a hyperlink is like a tab in a regular physical planner. So as you would actually pick up a tab and move it, you can actually click on the tab on your digital planner and it will switch to that section. So basically digital planning is like literally putting a physical planner onto your device and it is amazing. And different styluses will work, but the Apple Pencil truly works just like a pencil. It honestly feels like I am using a physical planner. It feels like I'm writing on paper. It just, it is amazing. I absolutely love it. So, um, I have the iPad Pro, um, the bigger 12 inch one, I think is what they call it. And I got the one that came out in 2018. So it is not the newest. It's the third generation of the Apple Pro. Now you do not have to have the, um, just the Apple Pro, iPad Pro. I get all those names confused. Why do they have to keep changing all of the names? Anyways, okay. So um, basically you just wanna make sure your iPad is compatible with the Apple Pencil, either first generation or second generation. That makes no difference. So there is an iPad Air or an iPad that's not a Pro that is compatible with the Pencil. Okay, and then you're going to need an app. So you need the iPad, the pencil, or the device and the stylus, and an app that allows you to basically use PDFs, write on them and use hyperlinks. Once you have those three things bought, don't ever have to buy anything else again as far as just the little bitty things that you want that don't cost very much money. So if you already have those items and you're not digital planning, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. So basically this is what a digital planner looks like. I am using GoodNotes 5 app on my iPad Pro using the pencil. This is one of our planners that we have with Breezy Organization. There are a ton of planners that you can get. I'm going to show you several that we have available. Uh, but basically, the cool thing about digital planning is you can write, you can highlight, you can erase, you can move stuff that you already have written down. So if you wrote it perfectly and you just love it and you want it on every page, you can copy and paste and move it on every page if you want to. If you have your favorite sticker and you're always worried about using it in just the perfect spot, you can use that sticker over and over and over again. So instead of buying a physical product that you have to throw away at the end of the year or store somewhere, or once you use it, it's gone, you can't use it anymore. No, with digital planning, once you buy it, it is yours for life. If you buy a digital planner that's undated, you can use it year after year after year. Finance, menu, stickers, they are just reusable. They never expire, they never go old. It is a lot less expensive to do digital planning. So you're gonna love it. You're just gonna love it. Okay, so this is basically our calendar planner. And in GoodNotes, you have this, 
you have two options to toggle in the top right hand side and one of them makes it like a mouse and the other one makes it a pencil where you're actually writing and stuff so I'm kind of in the mouse mode right now which means I can click on any tab and it's going to take me to that section so we are going to click on April and I'm just going to show you a little bit of what it looks like so here is my calendar here are some of the stickers that I've used and then if you scroll over, you can see some of the weekly spreads that I've done. You can highlight things uh, to make it more colorful. You can use all these stickers. This one has menu planning and checklists for every day. Lots and lots and lots of fun. Okay, so what do the stickers look like? This is a sticker book we offer. So it's basically blank pages for you to drag and drop all the stickers that you buy. And then whenever you wanna use a sticker, you hit this lasso tool, you circle it and you copy it. And then you go to your weekly planner go to the page that you're on and highlight and paste. And then you have the little coffee sticker here. And it, if you go back to your sticker planner, it is still there. So you can just use it over and over and over again. Some of the other um, things that we have is we have a Pinterest planner, which is really cool. All of these come blank. You can put your own pictures and your own writing in. I have tons of tutorials showing you how to do all this. Basically, you can have a planner for your Pinterest, which is just amazing. You have to go check out the video. Um, and then this is our home planner. It's set up like a home and all of these icons are clickable and they take you to different areas in the home. So, so if you click on living room decor, it brings in the pictures that you have and all the writing that you liked from each specific picture. You can write down what you liked in that picture. Um, and then we have a finance planner. We have a travel planner. We have a teacher planner, so literally all the things. You can get planners to plan literally everything in your life, and it all fits into one iPad, so you don't have to look around a bunch of different iPads. They do come in portrait and in landscape, so this is a portrait one, which gives you just one page spreads, but it gives you more space to write. This is a student planner, and then we have a bump planner. And what makes the hyperlinks and everything really awesome is you can have more sections than what you would have in a regular physical planner. So what I mean by that is our butt planner is a prime example. So you can click on first trimester and it takes you to this really cute log that has all of your weeks laid out there, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up. And you can click on any of these weeks and it takes you to that exact week. And then you can skip to a different trimester and then you see the higher weeks there and you can click on that week and see what it says. So you can basically link and get to all of your sections a lot quicker using a digital planner. We have so many more options on our website, breezyorganization.com. Oh, and by the way, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button because that helps our company out so much. You are supporting us without it costing you a cent. Okay, so just to show you a little bit about what digital planning is about, we already added in our sticker here, but if we are wanting to write, you can zoom in here as much as you want and say we have a birthday party, so we're gonna type in, this is a very odd way of writing. So say we have a birthday, you just easily write it in. If you need to change it, move it to a different section. You can move it over to a different day. If you add it in the wrong day, you can go grab a sticker. Let's see, we're gonna do um, a balloon. We'll add a balloon, so we're gonna copy that, take it to the weekly planner, we're gonna paste it, we're gonna put a balloon here so we know it is somebody's birthday. So we're gonna put that there, and there's a fly. Woo! Okay. Um, and then you can hit the highlighter if you want to hit the highlighter and we are going to color this birthday to make it more fun So we're going to color it blue. You can just highlight it super easy to use say we're going to do it from here and then we're going to write in um, It is from 2 to 5 p.m. So we want to show that we're busy from 2 to 5 p.m. And then you can write down your meals that you're going to have for dinner that week as you menu plan checklist for each day over here, you can write down habits, so you can write down water for your water intake, and then Monday, Tuesday, you can just check it, or you can add in, I had three, I had four, and if you're counting bottles, or if you're counting ounces, or however you want to keep track of that, so it is just limitless, and it is just like a physical planner, except it is so much better. <laughs> okay, so that gives you a look into digital planning, what it is, basically, it's a physical planner that just is on your iPad and it's reusable and it's so much better than the physical planner world. If you have not tried digital planning and you think, oh my word, I just cannot get rid of my physical planner, I would challenge you, try it for a month. If you have the device and everything already, why not? The app is only a few bucks, it's not gonna cost you very much. Try digital planning 
for a month. And if you actually do want to try digital planning, you can go to our website, breezyorganization.com, sign up for our newsletter, Breezy Life Club, and you will get free stickers every month. And along with that, you'll get access to our freebies vault, which allows you to download a free planner to see how you like it and some stickers. So you can just play around and see if it's really for you. And I promise you, you're gonna get addicted and you're gonna want all the planners and all of the things. <laughs> okay, so to recap what you need for digital planning, you need a device, you need an Apple Pencil or a stylus, and then you need the application um, that will allow you to manipulate PDFs, basically. So that is all you need to start digital planning, and then you can go on to our website or several other places online, type in digital planning for iPad or just digital planning, and you can find loads and loads of stuff that you can use. We even have customizable planners where you can do your own inserts and basically design the own plan your own planner the way that you want it. Literally, the sky is the limit with digital planning. I hope that answered all of your digital planning questions and that you kind of have an idea of what digital planning is. Be sure to leave a comment below if you have any other questions with digital planning. We absolutely love it. It is just a huge passion of mine. I'm so excited I found digital planning. I'm so excited you now know what digital planning is. And if you have not hit the subscribe button and the bell, please do that. That helps us so much with our channel and we'll catch you on the next one.